Hi guys, welcome to my second video on YouTube. So this is the look I have created today. It is a festival look, or anything with it. It's so unique that you can do any colour with it, anything with it. You can do any different lines, you can do instead of circle squares, you know what, do whatever you want, whatever your imagination tells you to do, do it. So if you'd like to see how I did this look, keep watching. If you could also subscribe to my channel and give us a thumbs up, thumbs down. I'd love to know what you think of the look. Um, and also if you click the little bell, that will tell you when I upload a video. I hope you enjoyed the video. I think this look, it was so much fun. So if you want to know how to do this look, keep watching. Hi guys. So hopefully this might work this time because last time it was being a twat. So well, I'm going to start makeup now. So first I'm going to show you products that I used as uh, a primer and a highlighter as well. So the primer I use mostly around my face is the Stiller, if you can see, the One Step Correct, which has all different colours for colour correction. And then I use the Ordinary High Adhesive Silicone Primer, which I put on my nose. In my T-zone, really, because that's where I get really oily. And then I did my brows and uh, my primer on my eyes. So what I used was the Tattoo Brow Pomade in shade Ash Brown. This is really good. I find it is easy to use and it doesn't go dry or anything. So it's a must-buy, really. And then I use the NYX Mascara Colour in... I can find it in brunette found it I'm just go over it and then to do my eyebrows first I use the infinity um, conceal and define and this is in shade C1 so I just outline my brows first and make sure they're all right and then I go in with the I the urban decay eyeshadow primer potion in Eden so I put that all over and because my eyelids can get very oily, that's the only thing that keeps it right. So as I'm going to start the eye makeup now. So first, oh sh everything fucking falls over guys, it's not even funny. We're going to use the Perfect, Be Perfect Cosmetics Car Carnival XL Pro Palette. See anyway, so as we're going to start off, we're going to use... So what I do first, I use Pillar Talk, which is kind of like... A beige really pale beige and what I do I just get enough of my brush get off the rest of the color on it because it can go a bit chalky and it looks horrendous and what I do I just put it where the brow line here and then I just blend it all over so I'm going to concentrate on this side and then off when I finish that I'm going to go off camera and do the other eye so first with a pale greeny blue okay you want enough of that product on that brush so you can blend it well but i would say add little bits at a time and just see how it goes because you want to get that if you want that color to be very bright you need to keep going in and in and in to make it that color so with this pale color first i'm going to put it in the crease and just keep adding that color until i'm happy with it and it's blended out bright so you just want to keep adding more product and then use circular motions to blend it. That colour we're going to go in with, I'm trying to think, a darker version of the colour that I put on. So we get enough product on the brush, tap, and then go back into the crease. So we're just doing the same thing with the darker colour. It's not much darker, but it just gives a nice blend. So just blend that in and then I'm going to go back in with this brush and then blend both in. I'm not adding any more products onto this brush guys so I'm just going to keep going. I'm going into, with this palette I've used Pillow Talk, Why Though and Showboat and now I'm going in with the Hype. And we're going to press this in as well into the, and then I'm just going back in with that. Very pale colour just to blend out the edges. Then we're going to go back in with more of the green. And then we're going in, now we're going in with Nuke, which is a very dark green. And I'm just going to place this 
on the edges and up. So just blending this dark green into the crease. Okay, now we're going to go in and do a cut crease. So I'm going to be using the Infinity Concealer. I'm just going to put a bit on my hand. I use a lot for my brushes. So if you do want to get something that's good for your brushes and kills all the bacteria when you're using that on different clients, I would get the ISO, ISO Alcohol Water Spray and it's rubbing alcohol. And I use like, I use like two sprays and it's fine. How I do my cut creases, I line this with a lot of concealer and look up and I try my best to do that line and then I always blend the outer edges and once that's done we're going to go in with the dark green again nuke and place this colour on the edge and we're just dabbing that on we're not shading it in or anything we're just dabbing at the moment okay so when you've got that right i'm going to be using two other different palettes so we've got the bc shamalonic don't ask me the name i'm not good at that shit but it's a stunning palette like i love it so we're going to obviously be using the greens and then we're going to be using this is LLC Beauty and Nosh MUA, the one about the height palette. This is their new palette. I've got a nice green there, so we're going to be using that. We're on brushes. So I'm going to start with this green in this palette, and it's fierce. That's what the colour's called. And we're just going to place it on. I'm just going to blend that in with Ecstasy. I'm going to use the same colour because I find that it's easy to blend the colours when you use the same brush. Tab the exit off and then place. And then I'm going to use the hype in this palette and place it on the edge of the dark colour and the light colour. So after that, we're going to need, well, you're going to need, we're going to add some black into it. So, you don't really need, I'm going to be using the black out the Carnival palette, the, and it's called Lights Out, and I'm going to be placing it here. Even though I've placed it with that brush, I'll get a small brush, kind of like this, or any type of small brush, and blend. Remember, there's no mistakes, guys. So it just gives that... So it adds more of, I don't know, some more depth into it, gives it a bit more life, I find it, is this look. And then, now I'm going to do the eyeliner. Wish me luck, guys, literally. I'm going to be using a detail brush as well as um, two different brushes. We've got a really small detail brush as well as this type of brush. So we're going to go with this one first. And I'm going to be using the Inglot 77, which is the black. It's such a good eyeliner, guys. You really do need it. So just make sure you get lots of products on the brush. But if you get too much, you can always wipe it at the edge of the pot. So first, I'm going to have to hold up like this. We're going to do the line. Like that. And then go... Don't worry if you make mistakes, guys. I'll correct it off camera. So I'm going to bring the mirror more towards me. And I'm going to get the detail brush and go in with the eyeliner. So this is what you do want it quite like this. Because what you're going to do now is in the middle of your eye look... So you go into do the line. So 
then you've got the line if you're happy with the line then you need one to it more that make it thicker make it thinner then you keep trying to do that so then we're wanting to get anything with a small round edge you want different ones but you don't want big ones because it won't fit on obviously so first i'm going to go in with this i'm going to put it so you get the part we're just going to put it like that into the pot and throw everything away obviously and then just place a spot anywhere small big doesn't matter and then go in with another round place with throwing everything away and you can put as many circles as, as you want and then just do little lines and there you go so now i'm going to go off camera and do my other eye and i will be back shortly. Okay, so I've done the other eye, uh, guys, and I've added some glitter from the BC Chamele. It's that. Just read it. And we use this one here. And then we added their lashes, which are gorgeous and long, and also have short lashes in there as well. So it's all nice. And they're dead fluffy. I'm in love with them. And they are from the same B BC. It's on Instagram. It is Beauty Combined. And these are Kletra, Kletra, that. So these are like my favourite at the minute. They are so fluffy and oh, they're dead easy to put on as well, guys. So don't think it's hard to put them on. So now we're going to start going in on the face. On the face. So for my eyes, even though I don't have dark circles, I like, well, that was disgusting. Uh, this is Nip and Fad Colour Correct in, uh, where's it gone? Uh, terracotta. So I basically put it around there. So just going to blend that out. But we don't want to rub it in everywhere. We just want it to stay by the eye. It's good. It's fun. And um, we're going to go straight in with foundation because I've done the primer, I've done all that before. And first, there. Yeah. We're going to use the NARS, and this is the Natural Radiant Long Foundation. This is one of my favourite foundations. So, this is a nice little trick for you. So, I'm going to put my bronzer on first, and I'm just going to place it where I normally do. But I want it a little bit stronger. So, after you put that where you normally do, it uh, gets a brush mainly one that's kind of like this or an angle anything that you use which are works best for you i'm just going to blend in a little we're not going to blend in properly now we'll go in with our foundation we're going to put it on a, a white brush this is by primark it's nice to put it on so we're gonna put three of it on you don't really need much and we're just going to place it around and then another dog so we can put this on the forehead we just put that on and i'm going to do the other side now so then we're going to go in with some concealer so i'm using the elf and this is in light sand and we're just going to place it like this and then I'm going to be using the Infinity one as well, just a few little dots. We're going to add some more contour. And then back in, blend in the concealer. So now I'm placing the powder, and this is Fenty Beauty. Then we're going to go in with some bronzer, and this is Dark Tan by MAC. And you don't need much. So you want to tap off all the excess that you got. And then after that, we're going to use the blusher from uh, 
Primark. I love blusher and you really don't need much. You need to make sure you tap off all the excess, guys. Seriously, it's that bright. I always like so underneath the eye, we're going to go in with the dark colours. So first I'm just going to put this as the dark green and then the black. And then whatever's left on this brush that we used with the light greens, we're going to just place it. So after that, we're going to use... So this is Candy Cosmetics Spray, and it's in light gold, but it doesn't tell me the actual shade. Use the... Ofra Highlighter of all the lights. This has got... It's like called the different shades so I just go around tap off the excess and place so with the lip I had to mix some colours so I'm going to mix this blue and this pink well purple so this is the stay the night lip tattoo by collections and this is NYX glitter golds and this is X infinity So guys, this is the finished look, finally, we got through that. I'd love to hear your comments, I'd love to see what you like about it, what you would change, What if there's any looks you would like to see. Also, if there is um, something that you don't like about it, I'd still love to know. Uh, just comment below, but also if you could please subscribe to my channel and like and comment, like I said, obviously, and tick the bell so you can know when a new video is uploaded so thanks so much for all everyone for coming and watching my video and i hope you all stay safe and well bye guys